Belgrade, and now I'm in the city of Novi Sad, which is known for its beautiful views along the River Danube. Not only that, but because I studied anthropology at university, I know that some of the oldest human civilizations lived on the basin of this river. And over 20 million people rely on it for a water source for drinking. So I thought I'd get to know it a little bit better, up close and personal, and I bought a ticket for a river cruise. cruise trip down the Danube, two hours upstream, two hours back, and I might try out a bit of canoeing. Oh. <laughs> like all European cities set on the banks of the Danube, Novi Sad is a vibrant town which seems to be always on the move, but does it at its own casual pace. So we're on the River Danube. Yes. Which way is up? Which way is down? This is up and this is down. So we're heading upstream. Yes. And what countries is this way? This way, upstream. Croatia, uh, Hungary, Austria, Slovakia and Germany. Oh wow, so what's that way downstream? Down way is Belgrade. Oh, back to Belgrade. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and after Belgrade, you go to Romania, Bulgaria, Moldavia, and then again Romania, and Ooh. you go in Bel uh, Black Sea. and I am hungry so we try out some of this Serbian cuisine so I need to go back to shore now I need to go and explore the city centre of Novi Sad had an absolutely amazing day so far in this boat you go really up close and personal as well with some of the, the banks on the riverside so you can see some of the wildlife here there's lots of swans lots of different types of birds and the trees themselves look absolutely beautiful all entwined and quite I don't know something out of a little fairy tale so after I've explored the city centre I'm back tonight for a little sunset cruise Sad wears its status as a financial and industrial hub of Serbia lightly. People are out in the streets at any given time of the day, strolling and chatting. I've got my own stroll and chat planned with Dragan Jurikic, a Serbian TV director and a Novi Sad native, to help me make sense of all that I've seen so far. I'm in Liberty Square, the city's main square. It is where the city's administration, money, trade, cafes and restaurants are housed. What I love about this square is it's not as typical and crowded and busy as most European city centres. So you can really appreciate the beauty. The stunning architecture and mass of people that converge on Liberty Square bring together all that's best about Novi Sad and squeeze it into one beautiful spectacle. Of course, every spectacle deserves a star, and Liberty Square's star is a 72-meter-tall masterclass of neo-Gothic architecture, which has inspired faith and history for 300 years. Catholic Church. It's quite personal for me as I'm Roman Catholic and served as an altar server for 10 years growing up. But what's really interesting is that Serbia is a mainly Orthodox country. But what I love about the Serbs is they are so accepting of all ethnicities, cultures and religions. Building this cathedral was a multinational effort 
using wood from Austria and stained glass from Hungary. But the message beaming down from his altar is comfortingly universal. <laughs> it's happening again. This weather is crazy. Exactly like Belgrade. Sunny, raining. But do you know what? At least I still get to see this beautiful sunset. Serbia aren't like stereotypical hostels. They're literally like boutique hotels, very cheap, very chic. Also give you an opportunity to meet lots of other travelers. Now, unfortunately for me, I'm on my own today in this hostel, but it gives me the opportunity to go and get a nice clean shower after a long, sweaty day. <laughs> it's 7 a.m. here on Saturday morning at the local market, and look how busy it is already. There's loads of fresh fruit, veg, fish, meat, and local specialities such as honey. Now, if I really want to experience life as a local, then I've got to try out some of this amazing food. It's really making my mouth water, so I'm off to try everything I've never seen some of these vegetables before in London let me try out some of my Serbian phrases Tikvica. Tikvica, yes. And Stajova? Blitva. Blitva. Stajova. Isto Tikvica. Isto Tikvica. Kao i ova. Okay. Hvala. Hvala. Molim. Serbia is known for its juicy plums. It also produces 30% of the world's raspberries in this small country. Let me get some. What a way to start my day. Now, every town has its local market. I'm so glad I got to visit Novosad's. It's the best plum I've ever tasted. city in Serbia. It's the capital of the province of Vojvodina. Now here we've got the Sabana Church, the Orthodox Church, which is just across from the Roman Catholic Church. You can see how beautiful all these buildings are. beautiful riverfront restaurant Aquadoria. It's a must-see here in Nova Sad. And <laughs> I ordered a salad, a light salad for lunch. And typical Serbian style, absolutely massive plate of food, meze, cheese, olives, meats, everything. I don't think I'm gonna finish this to be honest. I have got some very tanned arms, but a very wide stomach, so what better way to even it out than to come to the beach? I never thought there would be a beach in a landlocked country, but this definitely proved me wrong, and what a gorgeous beach it is. It's a Saturday afternoon here at the beach, so I've been told that's why it's so busy, and that usually during the weekdays it's a lot quieter. But the view, regardless, the riverside views of this Danube, whew, absolutely beautiful. to Instagram and Facebook. I've had an amazing time here. Danube River rafting, canoeing, the beach and the food. 
Novisad, Volunteer. 